Hi everyone, Dr. K, naturopathic sports medicine doctor, today talking to you about the concept of harm reduction. So this is something that I, I use a lot in my own day-to-day -day life, but that I have people consider in their own life. And, and what harm reduction is, is basically trying to do your best to minimize the kind of like worst case scenario essentially. So for example, I use it a lot with diet and nutrition. So for example, if someone knows that, you know, they're going to go out and eat dinner with their friends, instead of being like, oh, you know what, forget it. I'm just going to be an extremist. I can't go out to eat anymore. You know, I have to stick to this diet. Instead, then we start introducing the concept of harm reduction, which means that, okay, so you know that you're going out to eat later on what are some things that you can do earlier in the day to make sure that you're not just, you know, throwing caution to the wind for the entire day. So some examples would be, you know, have a good breakfast, make sure that you get some healthy fats in there, some proteins, for example, you know, some scrambled eggs with some avocado, for example, and some spinach sauteed onions, right? That would be your good breakfast. So you're making sure that you're feeling full, you're well nourished, you got a good balance of protein, fiber and fat in there. Um, and then, you know, maybe later on you have a snack, maybe you do some carrot sticks and some celery sticks with hummus, for example, then, okay, finally, it comes to dinner time. Now you don't feel you've eliminated that whole guilt factor of being like, Oh, you know, I'm, I'm going out to eat, I'm not following my diet, etc, etc. Whereas, so this is the harm reduction model, whereas, you know, when you just kind of throw caution to the wind, it's like, oh, well, this whole day is just ruined. So, you know, then you just eat, you know, bagels and muffins and, you know, pancakes for breakfast. And then for, um, you know, lunch, you just eat whatever is in the pantry and then dinner you're eating up because whatever the whole day shot. Um, and it sounds funny when you kind of say it like that, but that is honestly what a lot of people, including myself, have done, which is like, well, I've already had this thing, so what's what's the whole rest of the day? Or maybe it turns into a few days, maybe it turns into a week or a month, or next thing you know, this is like your new normal, right? So harm reduction is just a way to do the things that you enjoy and that you like within moderation without feeling like, oh, I can never eat out again, or you know, feeling super restricted. So for example, what do I have here? I have, <laughs> I have 70% dark chocolate here. Um, or I guess it's 72% from Costco. Uh, and that's, that's my harm reduction. So instead of going and eating a ton of milk chocolate, which is my absolute favorite, um, and having like a huge handful of that, I'll have a couple of, you know, a couple of these and it satisfies the chocolate craving. A little bit of sweetness in there but it's not my absolute favorite so I'm not gonna have like a whole ton of them you have a couple and you're like okay that's that's fine so there are different ways of doing harm reduction whether it be that you eat a healthy all day and then you you know have a treat at the end of the day or you know instead of having all of your favorite treats you kind of sub them out for different things like for example that people that are trying to you know get away from ice cream you know maybe they transition to coconut ice cream first and then they transition to a sorbet and then they transition to just um, you know making ice cream from fruit in their Vitamix for example you know anyway harm reduction is all about finding little ways to help yourself so that you're not just throwing caution to the wind um, anyway uh, that's that's pretty well that and if you want to learn more about how to incorporate harm reduction into your day or meal planning dietary advice, anything like that, then check out my website, drknaturopath.com. Hope to see you soon.